welcome to this episode of Let's Talk South County. My name is Raquel Kroll, and this channel is dedicated to having candid conversations with local business owners, organization leaders, and community members in the South County area. Today, my special guest is Ignacio Moya, otherwise well known from his family and friends as Nacho, who owns Moya Art Gallery and Studio in Gilroy, California. If you can hang on, I'm going to patch him through so we can learn all about his business. Hi, Ignacio. Thank you for joining me on my blog today. I would like you to kind of, and I know everyone calls you Nacho, so I will probably go back and forth between Ignacio and Nacho. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I, I like both names, but, and I keep telling myself one or the other. So please tell me, you, you own and you're also an artist within Moya Art Gallery and Studio, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, please tell me, I, I'd like to know how, how you got involved in art and how you came about opening your own business um, in Gilroy. All right. Okay. So um, uh, I've been doing art since I was like little kid. You know, I discovered uh, that I wanted to be an artist since I was like ten years old. Um, I would think I was in sixth grade or something, and and um, I had a dream since I was was little, and and um, I started painting, started drawing, uh, but um, not that was my dream to open my own gallery and and. and and do this for for a living, but one day in 2016, that's when I decided to quit my job, and I said, you know, I'm gonna quit my job. I wanna follow my dreams, and I'm gonna risk everything, um, even my family, <laughs> sometimes, cause like um, it's hard, you know, like to provide, uh, to make a living with arts too, you know. So, but I took the risk and <clears throat> started doing arts from home. Um, start selling my artwork from home and start like, uh, but first of all, I had to go and I live in Morgan Hill now, but I started, uh, I went to the city and got my license, you know, my business license. Um, but, um, I, I was like, I start hosting paint parties from my living room. Yeah. So I was doing paint parties in my living room, but only with friends and family. So I was like, oh my God. And people started calling me, not sure. Can you host a paint party here? Can you yeah. hold like this thing is getting serious, all right? So that's why when I decide, you know what, if I open a gallery, I can host paint parties there. Uh, that could pay the bills, you know? Right. And I can sell my artwork. So I was like, that's a good idea. I'm gonna take the risk and let's do it. I mean, I believe in myself, I believe in my talent, and I believe I can do this. So that was, I feel very confident. So like, let's do it. So um, that's why in 2017, that's when I opened. Moyard Gallery. Yeah, that's actually probably the first time I heard of your studio. My niece had a birthday party mm -hmm. and it was at your art gallery. And so um, I actually, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I wanted to pull it out just so we could see if you could, uh, you can't really see it because I have the, the background. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post a different picture, it's but a, it's, 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 it's beautiful. And I'll take a picture of elephant. that, but yeah, it's an elephant. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, honestly, um, I was in LA that day. Uh -huh. um, I went to uh, a charity fundraiser at Beverly Hills, and they I got invited because um, I donated one of my paintings to the uh, fundraiser. Okay. And and my daughter, she's an artist too. Um, she's 19 years old now, and and I told her I won't be able to make it to do the class, so you got to teach the class for me. And she's like, yeah, I can do it. And she did an amazing job, honestly. Um, she, she, she taught that class and, um, but I, and then, um, and that was awesome. They, they she showed me pictures mm -hmm. and they had a good time. And yeah. I see uh, your nieces that also did, you know, they, they did an amazing job. So tell me just a little bit about the services that you would normally offer. Now I know right now, you know, with the shelter in place, nobody can come into the studio but normally you offer uh private classes group lap classes lessons um i know you do the hosted parties because mm -hmm. that's something where you know they had i mean they had your entire studio the group um mm -hmm. so it was private and that was really uh -huh. nice and you know i think for a lot of parents myself included we don't always want to have to have things at our house <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> right yeah so that was a really big bonus um 
but you know, tell us what you normally offer as uh, in your studio. Well, what, what I normally uh, offer here in my studio is um, I host private paint parties, uh, but not just private paint parties. I host my own events. Um, every weekend, I come out with a new theme uh, so that people can sign up for my events and uh, bring um, uh, uh, their family members uh, or uh, like mom and me, uh, mom and daughter. Uh, um, my events are all like... Uh, are kids friendly so um, that's good um, that's what I offer the private paint parties the public paint parties and also you can come to my studio and check it out all my artwork that I have around my studio um, uh, you can also book um, if you want to commission a painting for me a portraits uh, you know pet portraits I do murals too you can come here and talk to me about any project and I can also um, do that uh, murals. I do things in the community too. If you want to also do a fundraiser, I do also fundraisers. Um, what does a fundraiser entail? What is something, you know, if someone wanted to do a fundraiser for you, what would, what would that entail really? Well, like fundraisers, they run different. I mean, um, I would charge more uh, my materials for the fundraisers and I uh, um, and I would maybe charge $25 and they can charge $50 for the fundraisers so they can make uh, money, you know, and, but I usually charge for my paint parties $40 per person, but I go down to 25 so that way they can make money. And, okay. and that's when they do it. So there's like, okay, you can charge 50, they can even charge $60 if they want to, and, you know, and that the more money they make is better, you know, for them. And then also um, I still do business. I mean, um, I just cover the materials. Yeah, it's not it's not for me to make money. It's just for, for for them to make money. That's what I like to do and help out the community. Now, can people pick their own designs? Let's say they wanted to, you know, have a fundraiser or a birthday party. Do they get to pick their own design, or do you have a template of designs that they can pick from, or do they kind of give you an idea what they want, and then you? How does that work? Where the artwork is selected. Well, the, yeah, they um, sometimes, you know, um, they they want to do a fundraiser. Uh, example, like, uh, for some, um, uh, they can do paint your pet, you know. And when paint your pet, I trace uh, people's pet. I trace catch them for them. And then uh, you get to pick the team as well for private parties. Uh, just give me an idea and I can customize something for you and make it you know uh, nice and 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 i want to i want my clients to be happy uh, and uh, sometimes i have already some designs in the studio and they also they want to pick one of the designs i have they can also do it but if you they want to do something different i'm, I'm willing to custom also uh, art for them okay what I now before we go into one of the, another reason how I found you online, which was your Facebook lives that seem to be really popular. <laughs> what else are you doing in the studio that's helping you um, through this time right now? Are you are you making a lot? Are people sending you, are you to ask you to commission art for them because that's something that you don't really need to be there for that? Or mm -hmm. yeah, I don't need to be here in the studio, honestly. Uh, I I love being in my studio. I, it's been like two weeks since the last time I was here, and I feel good. I feel like I'm well, I miss my studio, but at the same time, being working at home is also good. I'm with my family and enjoy being with my family around. And uh, but um, I'm doing commissions. You know, I, I I'm working on a few commissions already at home, and well, I'm doing the live. Uh, the free uh, virtual paint parties too. So I'm doing it for free, um, but um, I have my PayPal. I have like uh, my uh, virtual tip jar, you know? Yeah. People tip, make, uh, give me some tips and, and I'm doing this, you know, and it's, it's fun. Um, and that's, you know, um, something that keep me going and um, so let's talk about that really quick because I happened to be online the other night and I realized, I, I finally realized what it was I was watching because I was just kind of scrolling through 
and you had over a hundred viewers and the locations were from all over and you know people were waiting they were so excited um you have one coming up right so we're going to talk about that and then we'll talk about some materials that people can use and and how often are you planning on doing these because i think that those you know in this particular time right now mm -hmm. i think that everyone's looking for something to do and mm -hmm. something to look forward to and you know if you make it easy and you have your virtual tip jar and you know mm -hmm. like you said normally you charge forty dollars mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. um, but you're doing this for free and tell mm -hmm. me why you decided to do that for free mm -hmm. I decided to do that for free because um, there is a lot of families out there that can afford um, to get this privately or can afford to tip me. And there's families can, that cannot afford to do that. They rather uh, use the money for food. And um, a lot of families, there's the first time experience pain, but I want to give my community that experience, you know. Um, and that's something that my heart, uh, my heart uh, told me to do. And, and that's something that I want to bring uh, uh, like a good vibes, a good energy to the community and stay positive and, and stay home, actually. <laughs> I want to stay home. Yeah. Absolutely. I, you know, I think it's amazing that you're doing that because like I said, you're offering a virtual live where mm -hmm. all they need to do is have their own materials at home and you you know they you do it on canvas and if you have a canvas at home that's fine but people can use cardboard they can use just a piece of paper i mean there's so many different things ways mm -hmm. that they can at least try mm -hmm. with the supplies that they have at home mm -hmm. and you just give them a little bit of guidance into making you know mm -hmm. an otherwise awesome portrait that they did mm -hmm. at home and it mm -hmm. took away just a few hours or hour in the day that they didn't have mm -hmm. to think about what else is going on they're just in, sitting there mm -hmm. enjoying with their family or having that you know they're turning on the music or you had music on i think at one point mm -hmm. um i think that that's just amazing i think it's great when people realize what's kind of going on and they take that to heart and see how they can apply that to what they do and give back yeah, yeah and, and it's amazing how like I've been reading, you know, uh, um, one of the things that I'm doing that even though my wife told me, that's so cool what you're doing, even though you're reading all the messages, all the comments, so that way you're paying attention to everybody, whatever they need. Um, and I, I say, yeah, that's why I do. Uh, I try to finish my step ahead of time. You know, that's why I can give them time to read the comments and see what they need. So um, that's all that comes that writing about the class and the, how they feeling about it is priceless because they they say so so like so nice things you know and i was like wow that's great i mean that keep me you know they make motivate me to do more and and do more stuff you know and um that, that that's that's amazing yeah, yeah it's a really fulfilling really fulfilling feeling when mm -hmm. people give you positive feedback like that uh -huh. i would uh -huh. definitely agree and that's something you know when hopefully for family you know there's families who have three four people on one time uh -huh. hopefully that they realize and if they can afford to send you some money through your virtual tip jar that they can because uh -huh. you also still need to keep your studio open so yeah <laughs> that's, that's, that's one of the things so and i'm uh, to be honest uh people are being really really good um uh, and very nice you know um uh, about like tipping you know they tip me and i was like wow this is great i mean sometimes you don't expect things and that's when uh, things come to you you know um and um i'm gonna keep doing this i know people uh, appreciate what i'm doing and they're gonna keep tipping me you know yeah and and I know that they know the my studio for me to be able to make money. I have to have my studio open and keep going with my own and my own events. And I had like uh, I have to postpone a lot of my events. I had to also people cancel on my events. So I was like, wow, this is crazy. I'm on. I was expecting that money, right? Yeah. So now now I don't have that money anymore. 
but I stay positive doing this and everything's gonna be all right, you know? Yeah. Do you have the portrait or the painting handy that you can show us? <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 I forgot it at home because I have oh, it at home. Okay. And I was on my way back like, oh my God, I forgot it. But you know, let me explain what it's gonna be. It's gonna be two hearts, beautiful hearts. I mean, um, I can maybe, if you no, go to my- I can upload it. it. Uh, yeah. You can send me a picture. I'll just go ahead and upload it. But um, maybe yeah. if you can let people know what kind of materials would work. Okay. So it could work. Uh, the materials, it could be any acrylic. You know, um, there's people asking me, I don't have, uh, telling me they don't have acrylic. So I said, you can also use any uh, color pencil, uh, markers, anything. Just follow the steps and it's the same process. Uh, you don't have to have a canvas either, so you can go grab a paper, a, a piece of cardboard, uh, anything. Just, I mean, the more uh, creative you are, is the better, you know. Um, that just don't do on the walls because you're going to be doing uh, murals. But I, that's what I, I always tell my clients. That they, they, they think it's, it's, it's hilarious when I say don't paint on the walls. Just, and it's hilarious, I mean. Just don't do it. Just get a piece of cardboard or kind of recycle things there in the house. Yeah. Um, that's paintbrushes. You need paintbrushes. You need a, 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 a plastic cup with water and a napkin. Um, uh, you need a, for me, uh, you don't need to buy a lot of colors. You just, you need the primary colors. You can mix the colors there. But uh, if you, if you have a chance to get more colors like purples, like, teals like different colors you i mean you can do it mm -hmm. um but uh that's that's all we need you don't need to have a fancy easel um you know like really i've seen trying pictures. To just keep it really basic so people who are at home and stuck at home who uh -huh. don't have these supplies they're able to just kind of find what they have in their cabinet and make it work yeah because my point is i don't want them to go out there and try to find something risking it um if we can order something online that's good i mean do it uh but i mean i don't want people to risk it and get all the stuff yeah uh, just clean and uh, just work whatever you have yeah so your next one is this sunday march 29th at six yeah is that right that's the next one that's the next one you can find you can um go on my page moya art gallery studio on facebook okay and instagram is moya arts and moya no sorry Instagram is Moya underscore arts um, and Instagram. And um, you can go there and I'll be streaming live at 6 p.m. I go sometimes like five minutes before. So I'm waiting for everybody to log in and get ready. Um, I introduce myself and then I ask everybody to come in where they watching me from. And a lot of people from Puerto Rico, Colombia, Ecuador, around the world, like yeah. Canada. And I was like, wow, even from Mexico, even like, um, and they asked me to speak, you know, Spanish. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it in Spanish too. Um, so I do uh, Spanish and English too. So, okay, so that would be, you know, yeah. people. I had a picture from this lady from Mexico. Um, she did an amazing job. And I was like, wow, I was like, it has, you know, uh, it was a good feeling to see what she did for Mexico City, you know, that's amazing. That's awesome. What are uh -huh. you doing in your spare time right now? Well, honestly, I, I like to, I like to watch some shows on TV. Uh, I like to build Legos with my son. Uh, I like to be creative, do some Legos, play uh, board games and, but, you know, since I've been working a lot since I opened the studio, so I like to just lay down and, and tell my kids, hey, come, let's watch a movie. And which one we want to watch, even though I got Disney Plus, because we wanted to watch some Disney stuff. And, and I was like, well, this is the time to get something in that's going to be worth it, paying for it, you know? Yeah. Um, I want to pay something. I never watch things, you know? Um, so we're doing that pretty much. Um, cooking. Mm -hmm. Well, my family, they're cooking. My wife and my daughter, they're always cooking now. And it feels good because I'm not eating anything like 
like in McDonald's and yeah. fast food. It feels good, <laughs> actually. Yeah. But it's I think fun. People are gonna come out of this um, one of two ways. They're either gonna be like, "It was great because I had the time to cook and." Mm -hmm exercise at home or they're going to be on the other side where all they did was sat around and was a little bit lazy and just hung out wow. and you know I think I think we're going to have a couple different categories of people after this for sure how is for it sure. being at home with the kids because it, it, honestly it's it's great um I have no complaints at all for my son and my daughter uh they're really good kids and um uh, they like to stay home also they're not like i want to go i want to go outside and i'm like no they just even my son i told my son my daughter you want to come with me to the studio and she's like no i love staying home like okay you know as um but they're good i mean that my son is doing homework uh he's doing uh school and my daughter's also been doing school too so they're busy doing their stuff and then later on we we get together and and also they're pretty excited when when I start doing my uh, live videos uh -huh. and they're really excited. My son gets so excited and my daughter too, and my wife too, and they, they, they all, all excited. Now I know you said that one of them also likes to follows kind of in the artistry path. Do they all like to to paint and and do stuff with you when you're doing that, or do they just kind of watch you? Go, oh, I'm I'm over it. He's already done a bunch of these. Yeah. Well, my son and my wife, they're, um, they love art too and everything, but not as much as my daughter. My daughter and, 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 and my daughter, she's always there watching me doing these videos and taking me pictures behind the camera. And, and then she likes to be around and she loves doing art too, you know? And, and um, I think she's, she, my son, my son used to paint more. But now he got more into video games and got more into uh, Legos and all this stuff. So it's different than my daughter. My daughter's into pottery. She's into yeah. painting and and all this stuff. That's kind of my uh, in my family too. My daughter, she's gonna she's gonna log in tomorrow at six so oh. that she can um, do the painting. But my boys are more into you know they want. Well, she likes to be outside too. But right now the boys are just aching to go you know they want to play basketball and they want to play baseball and mm -hmm. and they don't just want to play with each other they want to play with their friends <laughs> mm -hmm. so Same everyone's here. getting that itch my my wife and my son they love hiking and they go hiking all the time and right now i said you know don't take the risk you know even though you're going to keep your distance i mean just, just wait. Just, just be patient, and and we we'll, we'll can do it next, like when everything's over. But um, and that's kind of like my wife and my son. They like to do kind of the same thing, like hiking and and doing outdoors. And and I like to stay home sometimes. I like to do exercise too, but not as much. So me and my daughter, it's a balance, you know. Like my daughter likes to do more arts than. Uh, than um than any like than my wife my son but everything's good in the house good um you know something just popped into my head if someone wanted now i know you're doing your free facebook lives mm -hmm. um but if someone want and you know you have so many people on there and you're trying to answer all these questions if somebody mm -hmm. wanted to do a personal live with you uh, mm -hmm. Is that an option? Do you do that? Yeah. Where they could, you know, they they just want you to cater to what they want to do. Is that something? Mm -hmm. And you know, instead of them having to wait for, you know, a hundred people with their comments and their questions, is that mm -hmm. something that you're scheduling in right now? Yeah, actually, yeah, I've been getting a lot of messages from from my clients and asking to if I can do a private a private paint party. Uh, and I said, you know, the private parties is a different. Uh, thing um, there's a different fee uh, that's a fee for that and, and I can do it uh, through also zoom application and you they also get to pick the theme but they get to get the supplies um, I don't have the supplies um, they can also find the supplies um, and I send them the list what we need but first before before uh, we pick the colors they need to send me what they want really want to paint 
and I'm offering that whoever wants to book a private virtual paint party, they can also call me or message me, and uh, we do it through a Zoom application, mm -hmm. and and that's that. I'm offering that one too. Okay, good. Yeah, because I was just thinking, you know, I was looking at all the comments on your live, and it could take away <laughs> getting through yeah. some of them, right? So if somebody didn't want to have to sit there through that whole thing, or they had a specific design, you're still actually able to offer virtual Zoom uh, parties with just a few people. Yeah. So I really like that. I'm going to definitely make sure that I let people know, you know, even if it was still a few people um, getting together, it's still less than you know the hundred that are watching it live yeah for sure if you do a, a small group like 10 people and that's great you know i'm gonna be able to answer questions quickly and right away it's like very private i mean it's it's great um i mean if i wasn't an artist you want to do something like that would be awesome to do something like that with my family yeah uh, and but uh but i mean if you guys want to book something and anybody that are gonna be um watching this video uh just uh, go to my page and, and send me a message uh -huh. or i can also give you my number as well okay that's great mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. great well thank you so much for being on my show my video blog i'm definitely gonna my daughter's gonna tune in uh up soon well tomorrow she's got her she actually did get a whole bunch of supplies for christmas so she's ready oh, nice. to, yeah wow. she asked for canvases and brushes and um some paints for christmas so mm -hmm. she she's set i'm definitely going to make she's sure set. She... She has enough well no thank you for having me here it, it's an honor it's something uh that I was, you know, when you sent me a message, I said, I was like, oh my God, I want to do these. And even though I, I came to my studio, so I was so excited to do these with you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate it. And I will definitely start spreading the word so that people can connect with you on your Facebook and on the um, website as well. So if anybody's interested. All right. Thank All right. you so much. Thank you. All right. We'll Have see a good you later. One. Thanks. See you later. Bye. 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 Stay home. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Let's Talk South County. We just spoke with Ignacio Moya, otherwise known as Nacho. He owns Moya Art Gallery and, and Studio in Gilroy, California. And don't forget to tune in to his live free Facebook uh, paint party on March 29th at 6 p.m. on his Facebook page. I will post his website and the links in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to get more notifications on local videos within the South County area, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and we will notify you every time a new video is released. Until then, thank you everyone. Stay well and I appreciate you watching my new, my new episode.